everybody, Nick Arnett, another episode of Cool People. I know we're me, and I'm with Victoria Garcia Kelleher. And you know what? I bet you almost everyone out there has seen you before. You think? Probably. Yeah. I sold them a lot of stuff. Holy, well, what have you? Well, you what do you it. do and why do they know who you are? I am a commercial actress, so I hawk goods to the general public. Um, I've been doing it for 20 years now. Yes, I remember yeah. your first headshot. Yeah, your, your husband, job. Paul. It, your very you first a, headshot. It's like this. this so this Only here with is a story. unibrow. <laughs> but you got into commercial acting. I mean, how did you decide, hey, I, I want to do commercials? How did that happen? I didn't really decide it. I got um, discovered at a workshop. And Whose workshop? It was just one of those random, like yeah. they put a bunch of people together and this agency came and said, we, do you want to do uh, be with us commercially? And I said, sure. And then I think a week later I had booked two nationals. So they were like, you're pretty good, which yeah. is really a fallacy. I think commercials are, there's a, I think it's mostly about, do you have the right face? Because huh. I have what they call a... Um, Ethnically ambiguous face because okay. I kind of fit every mold. I could be the Hispanic. My, I often spoken to in Ukrainian at huh. places. Everybody assumes I'm Italian. Like all the, so I think that's very helpful. And then um, you know I do I do funnies. I like to be funny, so that's helpful. They it's like very you, helpful. They right? like you to help write the spot if possible. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So you say now, <clears throat> just for those of you who aren't in the commercial, where you say two nationals. What is what does that mean? Oh, two spots that were two commercials that were made to go national, so all over the country. Some, some I've actually had spots that were in Ireland. Um, so international, international as well. Yes, I'm an international superstar. I don't know if you knew that. How about that? Yeah. <laughs> well, so people, you could be on vacation somewhere, uh, and in, people would uh, recognize. Uh, it's never actually happened, but I bet it. It could. I'm sure it could. It could. <laughs> but commercials. I mean, it's, it, it's so many people try to do that because it, it actually pays quite well too. Yeah, it can be very lucrative. It used to be a lot more so. Uh -huh. but it's really changed with the internet and. You know, they made all the agreements when it was the internet was like, what? What's this internet thing? You don't have to pay much because nobody's uh, going to watch it there. And then they haven't really changed they haven't kept up that, with that so much. So now you can have a commercial run 700 times and it's all under one flat fee. So oh it's my. A, yeah, it's okay. changed a lot. I mean, I'm blessed. Listen, yeah. happy, happy girl. But yeah, it's still different. I did my, one of my first spots was with Dennis Miller. What, what, yeah. Do you remember the commercial? 10, 10, 2, 20. Do you remember those old... The, those things for... Uh, for phones yeah. where you like, made long distance call? Uh -huh. Yeah, Dennis Miller. And they did four different commercials because he was so funny. They used four different endings. So I basically got paid for four commercials. Nice. Yeah, it was pretty fun. That was when I was like, I'm going to be a bazillionaire. Wow, fantastic. Yeah. Now, how how uh, what background did you have that, that made you so, so naturally good at commercials? Uh, well, I talk a lot. And <laughs> I have no editing facility, so uh -huh. I tend to do whatever comes out of my face. And a lot of a lot of commercials, you improvise. You just kind of they give you the the basic structure, and then you make stuff up. So that's helpful. But I was I did take a, you know I have a degree in theater from the University of Minnesota. Oh really? So yeah, all which right. prop, you know prepped me for nothing <laughs> <laughs> at all. But I had a fallback degree of English. Okay. So really nothing. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, but that's the thing, uh, you know. As a, you probably work way more than most actors do, that's and what make I'm told. more than most <clears throat> actors that you see. That people that are maybe appear in a lot of things are working actors, but they're not household names. Right. I guess you work more and make more than them. You know, I don't know. I know that it's a weird statistic. Like only, I think it's like five percent of SAG. You know, Screen Actors Guild Union, 5% of union actors make over $5,000 a year. Wow. So, yeah, it's... 5%? Yeah. It's a Scary. Pretty, it's a pretty... I mean, I you kind of have to also go... A lot of people are SAG and they just don't audition. They don't mm -hmm. even... I think my husband is still SAG. I'm still SAG. Yeah. I mean, yeah. so it could be... You know, you're kind of comparing your apples to oranges a little bit. But, yeah, yeah it's a... I've been very blessed. I'm very blessed. Huh. And yeah. I love it. I love doing commercials. They're fun. I'm doing one on Sunday. Wow, huh? Cliffhanger, huh? First episode with a cliffhanger like that. Uh, fun, isn't it? Learning a lot about, about commercials from Victoria Garcia Kelleher. Well, stay tuned for the next part of this episode because you'll find out what commercial did Victoria get, huh? It's, it's pretty cool. Maybe something you have had, even. All right? So stay tuned. You'll find out on the next episode of Cool People. 
I Know or Meet with Nick Arnett. All right, thanks for watching, friends. See you next time.